Evangelism Star Team is our follow-up to the Medical Star Team. The Medical Star Team allows us to open heart stores to hear the gospel. When we returned to the Comayagua area with our Evangelism Star Team, we worked with the same five churches where we held the medical clinics. The goal of Star Teams is not just evangelism, but also strengthening the local churches of Honduras. So we work alongside the pastors and people of the host churches. Our evangelism groups walked through the various communities and shared the gospel with many people. Sometimes, though, the distances were greater, and so one of the groups had to take a bus to get to their destination. The importance of opening God's Word to share the gospel cannot be overstated, as we found many people who did not have a clear understanding of what the Bible says regarding salvation. It was a blessing to be able to show them how much God loves them. Friday morning, several from our group hosted a children's Bible time at one of the churches. There was a good turnout of children, and they enjoyed a time of singing, stories, and a craft time, all centered on the gospel. However, the most interesting part was the piñata at the end of the session. As you can see, those kids sure enjoyed the piñata. That afternoon, there was a ladies' meeting for the star team ladies and the ladies of the host church. There was singing and a time of testimony, and all the ladies received a blessing that afternoon. But now I'd like you to hear from several of our team members regarding the highlights of the week. The highlights of this week on this 2016 mission trip is being speaking with people, feeling like uh, with, with, within a family, people receiving us with open arms and being receptive for the gospel. My highlights, certainly I think you begin with souls that are saved. Anytime someone who is lost in sin doesn't understand what to do, when you can bring the light of the glorious gospel to them, it is an amazing transformational event. Well, the highlight of my experience here in Camayagua is when we met with a guy who had been in the States and he was imprisoned. But after 11 years, they let him go and said, you go back to your country. So he came and then we met with him. I presented the gospel and he accepted Christ as his savior. This week was really amazing. Um, today definitely really touched my heart, uh, being able to share the gospel with the children. Just so many beautiful things and faces and um, sincere hearts that want God. It was an amazing day. We had uh, opportunity to give our testimony, but the ladies just were, um, they were a blessing to us more so, I think, than we were a blessing to them. They laid hands on us. They even anointed us with oil. What a blessing. Never had that happened before. I think if they want to be challenged spiritually, if they want to get outside of the box that they live in, that they should entertain going on a missions trip. Not so they can be a blessing, but so they can receive a blessing that they have no idea what it would be and that how God could use them would be far more than they would ever anticipate. If you would like more information about how you could be involved in a star team, whether through prayer, coming on a team, or helping financially, please contact Bible Basics International by calling 813-920-2264 or email starteams at biblebasics.org.